This is the Titan Futures One Point a Day Challenge. Earning your living executing trades from the comfort of your home seems a lot more cool than most 9 to 5 gigs. Trouble is, if you don't know what you're doing, you can wreck your portfolio. But with our trading instructors, BK, Soto, and Mitchell, you'll learn how to day trade the futures market. Streaming daily, 9 to 11 a.m., free. This is a free trading education channel. The Titan Futures One Point a Day Challenge, where everybody is welcome. Get in the chat, ask us questions, learn. And now your instructors, this is BK, Soto, and Mitchell. Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. I uh, hope everybody's doing well today. It's Friday, October 18th. Uh, thanks for uh, checking us out. I uh, appreciate you guys being here. I hope all is well where you're at. Um, I'll kind of get to some basic stuff here real quick. Kind of get to the legal disclaimers that you see on the uh, screen in front of you. Uh, I'm just telling you, though, know, this is all for educational purposes. You know, any trade you decide to take is on your own decision-making power <laughs> and ability. It has nothing to do with us here. Um, so no matter what we do here, it's not a trade recommendation in any way, shape, or form. Okay, this is all for entertainment purposes, uh, like it states in the legal disclaimers. All right, so uh, I get that out of the way this morning, and we kind of get this ball rolling. So uh, thanks for uh, checking us out. Uh, so, all right, we got uh, Soto and Mitchell, and uh, I mean, uh, here in, in this morning. Um, uh, so, we're kind of all here to early this morning. So, um, guys, how are y'all doing? Pretty good, man. How about you? Doing well, well, doing well. Good, good. Yeah, so um, uh, I, I, you just see my chart here. I got a couple things pulled up here. You see some, um, some uh, uh, zones already triggered and uh, being executed, and price is moving into a bigger zone here. and so we'll just kind of watch that for a second here, but no, no trades yet. Um, uh, but uh, volume really high this morning right now, so we're gonna just let it do what it wants to do. But um, anyway, so um, yeah, so we got Soto and Mitchell here this morning. Uh, so aired the whole crew's here. Uh, so good to have you guys. Uh, I know Mitchell's uh, he's over in China, so it's nine o'clock your at night at your time right now, right? That's correct, yeah. So he's wide awake and ready to roll and <laughs> had a full day, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just, so uh, all's good there. So that's great. So we're definitely, we can actually say we're international now. So that's cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I uh, hope, so that's cool. So uh, good morning, Paul. Good morning, Thomas. I uh, appreciate you guys being here this morning. It said, uh, Paul said, good morning, guys. Point made at 750 at the 8 o'clock candle at, at um, 299.75 so let's check that out um, real quick just so we can kind of mark this up here so you made at 750 at the 8 o'clock candle so let me go ahead and mark that all right so that's 8 o'clock candle took the trade uh, made it, point made at 750 at 8 o'clock candle okay went um, all right I see what he's saying here so okay Nice. All right. Yeah, that's a good trade. Yeah, nice job, Paul. Uh, so Paul's up. Um, he went long on the trade, made his point. So good good job, man. Good job. All right. Um, so off and running this morning. So if you're just checking out the, the, the channel, sure do appreciate you being here. Like I said, um, uh, go ahead and down in the description and kind of read about who we are and what we're doing here and kind of with a different dynamic we bring uh, here to the channel with three of us here talking. Uh, but we love the interaction from you guys. So please... Um, uh, tell us who you are, say good morning, hi, and then uh, what you're looking at, all that good stuff, you know, because we want this to be an open channel. Even though we kind of teach one method here, um, always open to other opportunity, other methods uh, for the fact that just for the knowledge, knowledge purpose, I know this works. been doing it for a very long time, and it all works off the basics of the market, but I also recognize that um, there's many, many ways to be successful in trading. So I always like to see that, you know, and uh, we have a Discord channel now, thanks to Origin uh, Code, uh, and he's kind of told us how to do that. So look in the description there, join our server on Discord, and you can post your own ch charts up there and kind of what you're looking at, you know, and, and we'll kind of keep those going this morning and kind of watch those as well and talk a little bit about those also. So make sure you join the Discord. Uh, if you don't have a Discord, um, uh, if you're not a member of Discord yet, just go ahead and sign up. It's free, you know, and then uh, uh, check us out and look for the Titan Futures server there. And then um, 
go ahead and join that, and then uh, you'll be able to see you post your videos. I'm thinking about putting a buy in at 95. At 95 even? 95 even. Yeah, I mean, that's a good area. I've got a zone drawn there on the chart, actually, from the uh, 520 zone. So let me go ahead and pull yeah. We're moving here. Let me go ahead and pull up some order flow real quick and kind of see where we'd go in on that one. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, that's that's not a that's a good spot there. You got um, you got pockets there, V pox there, uh, a lot of support right there. Um, I'd go in and at ninety. Um, I'll put one in. I'll go ahead and put one in. Order since I'm doing pending. A lot of talking. I'll put one here at ninety four seventy five. Um, a little bit lower than that. I like to sit on that close right there. Um, actually, no. I'm gonna go one up. I'm gonna go one tick up where you're at. I, I like ninety five um, as well. So. I'll go ahead and put one there. Um, that's right there in the middle of the zone. I have drawn the chart there so you guys can see that. Um, or, order flow, there should be some uh, bouncing out of that area right there. And there's a lot of sideways action right there if you take a look at that as well. Uh, a lot of sideways action. A lot of open and closing right there at 95 and 94 three quarters. So we're watching that. Volume's lower. Um, price is moving into that nicely, but it's starting to show rejection. It's bouncing off the top of that right now at, at a quarter. 95 and a quarter uh, so that's always nice um, I'd like to see it just dip a little bit lower and grab us and then uh, make a nice little bounce here it would be good a good trade for the for the morning so um, <clears throat> so with all that said man we just kind of get into it and watch it uh, uh, any trades this morning Soto so far no, no trade trade so far I got uh, bumped uh, on a few of them but I didn't get picked up unfortunately <laughs> Uh, to go short, um, so I'm sure you guys already have the hidden zone there at uh, 8.55. Yeah, uh, yeah. I missed that trade there. I was sitting right at uh, 98 and a quarter. Okay. And because uh, I wanted to be one tick uh, below the, uh, there's some uh, resistance from the uh, 5.30 candle. Uh -huh. So I wanted to be one tick into it. Uh, to the prize to pick me up, uh, thinking it was going to go down there. Unfortunately, it did not. So, uh, no big deal. But yeah. so yeah, I missed a couple of trades there. Uh, but no, never got never got picked up. But just waiting here. I'm sitting with you guys here at 44.75 right now. Uh, well, we're sitting. At, I'm sitting at 95. Sorry, 94.75. Yeah, I'm. I think I'm gonna take below you guys. Yeah, I think that's a good spot still too. Yeah, for sure. I do too. I like it. Up. I'm just still playing safe. Yeah. You at 95 yeah, or you 95 and three? 95. Quarters? Yeah. 95. Yeah. The reason I'm I'm in that spot is because of the one hour can uh the one hour candle we have uh it starts at 94 flat. So just in case it dip a little lower and want to touch that one hour candle, um you know 94 spot that will give me that room for error. That's the only reason I'm going there. Otherwise, I'll probably be I would have been up there with you guys for running this product. Like that long. Yeah, because there's actually a hidden zone right there. Uh, it starts at 94 and a half is the top part of that on an hourly. Is that your, is that the one you're referring to? Uh, yes. I'll draw it on this chart here. I just drew it on the chart. Um, yeah, so that's a hidden zone from the hourly there. He, he's saying it right here. He's going in at uh, 90, you said 94, um, 75. Um, yeah, so he's actually front running that one tick of the hidden zone there on the hourly, uh, which is I think is a good idea there. So not not um, I think that's a good trade plan there. So kind of watch that. So I think in that area right there, even at 95, it gives us room uh, for a good four point. It gives us a full point um, to kind of play with uh, down into that zone where I think you will bounce at that um, either either that that quarter three quarters or that half there. So we got room to. Even at 95, we got room to get in early if it wants to just go down there and uh, get us, or we, we can let it go a little bit deeper as well. But uh, price is rejected nice off of the top of that zone right now. So um, it's rejected nice off of the 95.25, which is the top of the zone I have drawn on the uh, for the hidden 5-minute at 5.20. So it's bouncing pretty good right there right now. So we'll have to watch this price action here. Yeah, I think we're going to get a little bounce here because we have a hidden zone there at... Uh... 645 yeah exactly that's what i'm looking at that so i actually might kill this trade Order here canceled. And look the short out of that yeah um, one little down too so 
I'll put it at 97 and a quarter. I'll short that at 97 Order and a quarter. Um, even, I think even at 90, actually, I'm going to go right at the front here at 97 and even and see if it can get us. Um, that's a, like you said, it's a, it'd be a flipped uh, zone at 645. We're already in a supply zone in the hourly time frame at this point, And that's actually, um, uh, I got an orange, um, line drawn in that zone. It's actually the VPOC with the overnight of the profile. Um, so, um, that's the reason that's drawn there as well. So. Um, You're sitting at 97 and a quarter? I'm sitting at 97 even right now. Uh, um, okay. I'm at 97 and a quarter. Uh, yeah, I like 97 even. even. Yeah, 97 uh, even is uh, the VPOC. 97 and a half, boys. Yeah, that's fine. I think any of that so it was inside that zone there. Um, yeah. I'm just sitting at 97 even because that's the VPOC uh, from yesterday's uh, price action for the whole day. Uh, mm. So I would expect it to bounce. Or, and it's, like I said, it's at the bottom of this uh, flipped zone here. So. I think all that area right there is good. Any from 97 to 97 and a half, I think it's pretty strong. Yeah, I'm gonna jump in with you, see if we get picked up. Yeah, we'll see. It's bumped us, but it hadn't picked us up, so we'll watch it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. Come on. So we'll see. Come on. Let's get some. Yo. <laughs> Look at it. Wow, wow man. Hours, listen to you, man. Hours, I'm bored. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm in this trade here, so it's put me in. Now, let me tighten up this uh, profit target. That way it's not uh, squinching my chart up too much. All right. Let me see if we can get a quick little bounce out of here. It'd be nice. I'm actually going to put a target in um, right at 95. I'm going to put my second target in at 95, looking for a bounce to go back long if you want to get down in here. So it would be a profit target and then a entry to the long side, hopefully. So we'll kind of watch it and see if it, probably, if it all wants to work out that way. That would be beautiful, uh, but we'll see. Nice. We must have been. Uh, did you guys get picked up at 97 or just me? Um, <laughs> I, I'm getting picked up slowly. Yeah. <laughs> it's all, building into contracts very slowly. Yeah, it's all order book, all order book stuff. So I must have been in line early in the order book to get in at 97. So. Let's see. So we'll see. We'll watch it. We're getting a quick little trade here. Hopefully we we take our quick point and. Uh, Get a second quick point, and then I uh, possibly look to go long here as well. So a little bounce long out of this other demand zone. So we'll see. There you go. Um, there we go. All right, I'm fully picked, picked up, up now. now. All right, should be in completely. Yep. Sorry, I got a, a man taking a call here in a minute. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I'm riding with you, BK. All right, Paul, I like it, man. We'll see in the. Hopefully we get it's it. Possible. Not no big deal, man. Uh -huh. I like it. You're pretty set up. <laughs> uh -huh. you're, you're like the least motivational coach. Hey guys, hey, hey, we go out there and we lose. That's fine, guys. It's part of the game. Losing, you know what? I kind of hope we lose. So we kind of character, okay? So uh, uh, that's not. Uh, you're you're twisting uh, it, boy. You're twisting it. That's I, not what I'm saying. <laughs> I know, buddy. I know. I'm messing with you. Uh, I I just want everybody to make sure they're okay with taking a loss if it loses. That's all. I have no I problem know. losing because I know it's part of the game. But I'm not. <laughs> so when I take the trade, I'm 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 okay with the risk that I've put on here. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. So I want to be the same way. <laughs> I, I want to win every trade I make, but uh, unfortunately, oh, yeah, that's no. not the case. No, awesome. <laughs> when I played, uh, I played a couple of years with Pop Wander. My last year, I played Pop Wander football. Uh, my coach, we won like every year. And the last year I played, we lost a lot of the players. Um, and he, you know, he's super competitive, so I never believed he would say this, but he said this at the beginning of the season. Hey guys, this season, you know, I think we're just gonna have fun. And it doesn't matter what happens out there. And I was like, what the heck? This is not the guy I know. That year, we ended up going undefeated. Oh, wow. <laughs> but, yeah, we lost, like, some real athletes in the team, you know. When you're at that age, you got, like, real athletes and you got, like, kids, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it was a lot of fun. <laughs> 
Back in your Pop Warner days, man. I like it. Yeah. Like, we're, I had we're going beer. deep now. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. Let's go deep. Yeah, there's a guy that had like a mustache. You know, you're like, you're 10 years old. There's this other guy with a mustache. You're like, what's going on, man? Yeah. That was guy's JV first baseball for me. High school, our moms would take us to the games, and the other kids would crush up their cigarettes before they got on the mound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put their car keys load. into their pocket and in their bag yeah. and <laughs> put out the How are you at the eighth grade? <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> the, the uh, car that's keys, that's classic, yeah. Um, they, got, they got their kids watching the game with them, you know. <laughs> you know, I'm not liking this, man. This is uh it's taking a little longer than I like. But, yeah. Yeah, I got out. Are you already out of it? Yeah, I didn't like how the 920 candle closed, or 915 candle closed. Yeah. And so I was like, well, I think I missed it. If I'm to get in it, I'm not going to get in it. Gotcha. Let me pull up some water flow and kind of watch some um, what's going yeah, on. Yeah, where, where do we got some sellers and buyers at? Oh, I've got, I got, still got sellers at 97. Um, sellers down okay. here at 96 and a half. No big buyers coming in yet, but um, and there's buyers down there at 95 and a half, you know, but um, I don't mind them coming in there because it gives, gives us our points. So I'm not going to get out of it just yet. I just don't see a lot of conviction to the downside. Even I never got in it. I just closed my trade. Oh, okay. All right. I was well, sitting higher than <clears throat> Gotcha. Yeah, so we'll just watch it. No big deal. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> I think the problem is, you know, like you said, we're in a lot of the sideways market. We've been in the sideways for the last two days, really, if you look at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo, when I turned it on, I was like, man, it didn't do anything yesterday. Yeah. So, no, Turkey didn't fire any missiles at us. <laughs> Good, but yeah, glad I was watching the uh, the, the news uh, constantly. You had a good flight. Yeah, it was all right. I I uh, had West, West prescribed an Ambien the other day. I've never taken an Ambien in my life, but uh, you, you that is a wicked, wicked that is a wicked, wicked little pill. Yeah, I was gonna say you probably don't want to take it for the first time while you're. You know, doing something that you usually are not doing, like traveling across the world. Well, I know that I took it when I had 12 hours and 47 minutes left in the flight, and I woke up with an hour and 30 left. Sweet. That's good. That's good. So I was like, whoa. I love that little thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, awesome. I'm glad, bro. Then I was worried what I had done. I made sure I was strapped in my seat because I read all these reviews where you sleepwalk and do like weird that's, stuff. That's what I was talking about. That's the problem. So with I just strapped myself in and went for it. Yeah. And I'm serious. I had patients tell me that. And they're like, yeah, I woke up and I, you know, they're like on the, on the porch somewhere. I'm like, what? Yeah, so that's why you never really want to take a, a new pill, especially something like that, for the first time. You want to, you know, kind of build into it in your uh, controlled environment, uh, so you know how you... Oh, work. I practiced with it at the house, but I sleep pretty well at the house, so there was no way for me to tell whether it was doing anything or... I mean, if I lay down, I'm going to sleep, but I don't sleep well sitting in a chair. That's why I wanted it for the flight. All right. Do you want no, to you put in my bed? It's, it's 10 minutes tops. I'm out. Yeah. Well, uh, you flew with Delta? Yeah. Yeah, I was able to. I, I got off the phone with uh, uh, Pence, and um, he was able to go to Turkey and do a little uh, ceasefire for uh, 520 hours, so that'll buy you some time while you're over there. Yeah, I heard where he got him to quit shooting stuff. So. <laughs> That's a friend right there, man. Going to the top to get them to look out for you. Just put a ceasefire yeah. until my buddy gets across the ocean. Yeah. But now that I'm over here, I have no access to any American news. <laughs> <laughs> we 
we call him P Daddy, by the way. Oh, P Daddy, I like it. P Daddy, okay. <laughs> there you go, Greg. I'm gonna get your point now. Yeah, yeah let's we'll see. Let's we'll see. Let's we'll push. I'm gonna get out of this trade here. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna get it. Yeah, I got some. Uh, yeah, pushing yeah. it. It's pushing it. Come on, one more tick, man. I'd love to see one more tick. Target out of it. filled. All right, got my Keep first up. target. Let's there you go. go. Right. I'm with you. Got mine. All right, got our first target. One ticked in the profit. Probably gonna trail a little bit because of all the the support down there. I'm probably gonna tighten up just a little bit, get a couple extra ticks out of it. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same here. So. I'm just going to go into half, 96 a half on my trail. I'm with you. All right. No, and we got a potential trade still coming back into the long side here down in the zone. Um, down a little bit deeper, though, right around 95, 94 and three quarter. We kind of washed that area. Um, maybe even a little bit lower now. Um, I'll probably go a little bit lower now, to be honest with you, about 94. And yeah, three I'll go three quarter. I'll go to 94 and a half. I'll probably run a three quarter on that. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. But uh, first one locked in, so that's good. So, so you made that trade, right? Yep, yeah, I got the trade, got the right. point. Good. So you yeah, got the first print, one. Man. Got the first one for the channel, so that's good. <laughs> no problem. Uh, your time's coming. <laughs> Hang in there. Yeah. All right. I I got out. I moved my stop up uh, to get locked in three ticks. Yeah. Uh huh. So I'm I'm out. Okay. And, uh, cool. Paul, you still in or you out, man? Paulie, Paulie. Yeah, Paul. Yeah, be interested if Paul's still in it with me. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. Yeah, take it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you can go ahead and send that to me when you get it ready. That way we'll have it for the 11 o'clock breakdown. Point made, sweet Paul. Good job, man. Paul's been killing it, man. Yeah, Paul's killing it pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna tighten up one tick, Paul. I'm gonna go to three quarter, three ticks in the profit here. So my stop now is at 96 and a quarter. So gonna get some bounce out of here probably. That's okay. I'm willing to take the three tick profit and run. Point and three quarters. So there it is. I'm out. Point and three ticks. So yeah. first trade of the day. So we're good. Okay. <clears throat> yep, so now <clears throat> you can see on my chart, guys, where I have the entry and the exit. Okay, I got an entry at 97. You see that on my chart. With the exit out at 96, and another the second exit out at 96. Uh, in a, I mean, in, uh, excuse me, at, um, <clears throat> let me spread this out so we can all see it here, myself included, at 96 and a quarter. <clears throat> so I got a point and three quarters on this trade. Hey, can you send, uh, can you put it on the room, um, on the chat, the, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, Discord thing? Uh, take a picture of it? No, no, like you did yesterday, you put the link, uh, yesterday. Oh, yeah, I can do that, yeah. Uh, please. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm probably, probably not going to take that trade to go long. Oh, man. Just because of that candle and the way volume's building. Yeah, the volume's spiking, so I'm, I'm not in the trade right now because of volume spike. <clears throat> but 24.75 is where I would have been. Yeah. So we can watch it. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, you, uh, I'm looking at the Discord thing. Yeah, I was trying to find the channel here. You said, um, Oh, I'm in this, yeah. Uh, yeah. I had a trade in. I'm in this trade, guys. 94.75, yeah. Okay. I just looked here, got picked up. Sorry, I was looking at Discord. Um, yeah, 94.75 to go along. Let's see what happens here. Uh, yeah, a lot of picked up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I picked up a lot, didn't it? Yeah. So I, we'll see what happens. I didn't get a right. trade because of that, you know. And yeah. I was actually looking at Discord trying to do what you asked me to do, and well, I'm spiked down there, which was good. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I still like to trade out of this zone now. I just need I just need this uh, volume to slow down a little bit here. Yeah, I like it too, but 
kind of freaked me out. Hang on. I gotta go for a second. Alright, so volume's low. So where am I gonna get in this trade now? So uh good still a lot of buyers right there that um Where you got buyers at? We got where we are. You're in at 94 and three quarters. You got buyers there still, uh, but I, um, it's refigured. So let's see here. Um, I'm gonna watch this here because I mean you're at. I mean that's the top of an hourly hidden zone right there at 94 and a half. So I mean you're good. I mean I think you got it or you got a good bounce out of that. I just it might come back in a little bit deeper because of that volume spike, you know. But um, yeah, where we we'll watch that and see where would I get in off of that? In this area, there's good buyers at 94 and a quarter. Um, right there on it now, but uh, let's push through that just a little bit. Um, let's see. Out of that trade. You're out of the trade. All right. All right. 93 and okay. a half. That's good buyers. And it's pushing through pretty good, isn't it? Where's he going? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have a little hidden zone here at uh, 225. Uh, yeah, I got one at 325. And then uh, you said you got one at 255? Yeah, right. 255. I see that one. Yeah, yep. I see that. It's at the top of that bottom of that zone there, on the top. So it could price could definitely get into that area there. I'm gonna hold out for a little bit deeper trade since volume kind of pushing up on us. Uh, we're three minutes to the open, so I'm gonna wait for a possible trade down in this area, um, down in this 97.5 uh, area. 97. Yeah, it's pushing down there. So I'm going to wait for opportunity down in there before I get in here. Volume's really increasing right here. Oh, it's bouncing off that. It's bouncing. The market's getting close to the open. I'm not going to take this trade because of the volume spiking, but um, it's in that zone already. i got to watch that. I'm going to watch that. Buyers at 90.25 down there. A nice little spike out of that zone right there, a little bounce, but it's uh, just not, uh, it's just a little bit too heavy right now for me to take this trade. It's moving a little too quickly. Uh, even though it's got a zone there and it's respecting a little bit, not going to take it right now. Uh, two minutes from the open. So, now I would love this price action right here. Volume was lower and price was stretching like that. I would absolutely love that trade, but because volume is spiking like it is, it just that's just momentum to the downside so not gonna get in the way of this moving train here gonna let it slow down first and then um, we'll see okay what we have to pre what we have presented because we have a zone down here an hourly zone all the way down here um, on my chart up uh, all the way down here at 8775 we got an hourly zone from yesterday 875 to uh, 85 flat that's right yep we got that zone there so we'll see if price wants to get get down in there um, so we'll watch that. I got a green line in that showing buyers at uh, 86 and a quarter. So we'll let price get down in there, and I think it might potentially be a good trade down there. If volume slows down with these big moves. Just seeing rejection all the way down here. That means uh, you know they're getting absorbed, starting to buy things up. So we'll watch it. We'll watch it. Good price action thus far this morning. I like it. I like it. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Good. Okay, Disco has got you. All right. So yeah, guys. So if uh, you want to check out the Discord channel, jump on there, and you can post your charts in there. If you want to, if you guys want to do any of that, you can post your own charts in there from your trades or what your chart looks like compared to ours, or or vice versa. You know, and, uh, throw them in there, man. We'd like to see them in there. So just join the uh, Discord uh, server there under Titan Future. So um, check us out, man. That would be good. Be fun. I put post the link in there in the uh, chat as as far as the YouTube. So uh, 
check that out. So market's open, boys. Market's open. Market's open. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Yeah, nice little spike back in these zones here. So, got to get rejected out of here, it looks like. You saw that beautiful bounce off the 927 right there. Yeah. It's right uh, there at the VPOC. You know, that's that VPOC from yesterday. It's coming back up. That usually tells us if, it's, if it bounces off the VPOC, usually it's going to tell us it's going to be a pretty good move down coming in. So. Yeah. Well, we had we had two things going there. We're in the one hour zone plus we're on the uh, 920 candle. So, right. so Kind of a good confluence there, and, and you said a VPOC, that's... Yeah, the VPOC at 97, so a lot of confluence right there where price is moving on, up, moving out of. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Yeah, it's just it's at the open, unfortunately, and I'm just not, I don't take that trade. But yeah. uh, it's nice, though, I like it. Uh, that's a good sign to the downside. So we'll watch that and see. All right, be right back. Though. Yeah, man, yeah. All right. Well, guys, thanks for being here. If you're just checking us out, sure to appreciate you all hanging out and checking us and seeing what we're about. And uh, love to um, introduce yourself and, and uh, tell us a little about yourself if you'd like. Uh, if It's up to you. No, no pressure to do that by any means. Just uh, want you to be, this is your channel as well, so we want you to kind of be interacted in, I mean, be interactive in it. And uh, um, say whatever you'd like to say as long as it's positive you know <laughs> we don't want to do negativity here we want it to be positive and uh, a good easy place to learn or throw your opinions out there kind of share your methods with it, all that good stuff man we want it to be a, uh, a open friendly channel so um, if you got anything throw it out there but uh, good to see you guys here you know I uh, appreciate it and uh, hope everybody is doing well so we had a first trade out of the day this morning, a point and three quarter trade. So that's good. Soto made a one point this morning as well for the channel. That's good. So we'll, he'll, we'll be able to mark that up a little bit later at 11 o'clock. We'll go through that, his trade. He's already sent me the picture of that trade. So we'll, we'll go through that at 11 o'clock as well as update the spreadsheet. Okay. So, um, uh, we'll kind of watch all that together, but you'll see on my chart here. Um, it's a five minute chart. You'll see these zones that are drawn. Uh, the blue zones are the ones that are active this morning that we drew this morning. The orange zones are the hourly uh, uh, zones. Uh, so we always watch those. And you see there's a lot of action around those. Um, we're watching volume. And, you know, it's a big part of us. We got the tools of the trade to the left side up there. You know, price action volume, support and resistance, supply and demand, and order flow. Okay, so we watch all those. All right. Uh, those are all basic fundamentals of the market. So uh, just like anything in life, get a good foundation and um, learn the basics and uh, become very good at those basics and the fundamentals. And uh, you build a solid foundation and you give yourself an opportunity to um, do something great. And um, as far as this goes, you get yourself an opportunity to uh, trade and uh, eventually do that for a living if that's what you want to do. So uh, that's kind of what uh, the concept is here. Make that one point. Get so good at making that one point that... Um, as your contracts grow at one point becomes worth more and more and eventually as you let it compound um, that one point would be worth a lot of money and then I actually um, can, that one point could actually change your life at one day so that's kind of the idea and the concept here okay so <clears throat> but yeah man uh, let us know you're here man sure do appreciate y'all being here we have got a few viewers on here that's awesome so just patiently watching price volume spike too high. That's the reason I'm not even interested in it right now, even though it's in some of our zones. Um, we looked at a good rejection possibly here, but <clears throat> somewhere in this area, but volume's just really high. So I'm not going to mess with it during that time frame. You know, I'm going to uh, just kind of watch it uh, because of that the volume's really pushing. But it's, reject it's rejecting off the areas that we have marked up. Uh, the VPOP from yesterday is at 97 even. Uh, so you see that it goes with our zone this morning. We had drawn up at uh, right here at uh, 645. You can see it respecting that zone as well as the orange zone right here, which is an hourly from yesterday. So it's a hidden zone from yesterday. So on the hourly chart, so you can see how all this starts to play, you know, line up and and it tends to give good opportunities to make trades. So um, 
you're watching that happen even through high volumes you're watching it happen so but we just don't trip that's not part of our tools you know or we kind of do check mark um check marks off of our tools and unfortunately uh, because of the high volume right there we're having to put an x <laughs> in that box if that makes sense so we're going to be patient and wait here get out of this sideways action right here let it gain some direction Sorry about that, gentlemen. I was on the phone, but I made a point while I was on the phone. Oh, did you? Where'd you go in at? I got in at 94.75. Or, let's see. I got in at 90.75. Anyway, I made my point at 91.50. Okay, so you got in at 90.50, right? So, okay, so yep, you took out the bottom 50, of that. Yeah. You took it into that. Okay, nice. You took it out of that blue uh, demand zone down at the bottom here. Nice. Yeah, I made my zone off 320 and traded yeah, right there. Exactly. That's the zone right there. Yeah, good job. You did it off at of 320, the big, yeah, the traditional zone, not the hidden. Okay. Yeah, and I was tempted to go in at 91.25, but I uh, dropped it down a little bit lower and went at 90.50. Yeah, nice trade, man. Nice. Did you uh, got it? You, so you got your one point, so you're good, man. Good job. <clears throat> yes. And now I'm looking at maybe a short trade at 98.25. Yeah, we got some potentially shorts going on up here, so we're just kind of watching it. And uh, volume's low now, so that's good. It's resting a little bit, so we got to just watch it. It's in that. It's kind of definitely in those zones that have been triggered multiple times. So just got to be careful and watch that. But yeah, um, I would not yes. argue with any of that. Now I'm back. Alright. You're looking ah, quiet for too long. Uh, Mitch, Mitch, where do you make your uh, trade at? 90.50. To go along. Nice. Yeah. On this, uh, what candle? Mm, 9.30. He's, oh. he's, he's going off the original. He's going off the 320 uh, zone, uh, the or, original um, demand zone. Yeah. And that's where he's taking But he took it off the 930, but that's where he's running his um, zone off of. Oh, yeah, which everything qualifies, so that's a good trade. He just did it in an increasing volume, which is fine, you know. It's just, um, <clears throat> it's a good trade. Well, I kind of waited, like it had already gone down there, rejected, come, or it didn't go all the way down there, but it like went down there, kind of rejected, started coming back up, and so then I volume somewhat slowed down, and I put it in the trade. Yeah, nice. That's a nice entry bar trade then. Good job. Good job. <clears throat> all right. All right, guys, so if you're just not joining us, sure do appreciate it. Thank you very much for checking it out. And um, let us know you're here if you don't mind. Just say hi. I'd appreciate that if, if you're comfortable in doing so. But uh, we've already made our way a point and a quarter, three quarters this morning, so that's good. <clears throat> Getting started. Uh, we got involved. We needed a little, got all these zones drawn up. They were all drawn prior to, to price getting there, uh, which is very important. <clears throat> so good morning, LJ. Glad you're here this morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. No. Oh. So, watching price and just being patient. And see what what's to do here. Um, keep coming back into this area of um, VPOC of yesterday. Keep kind of playing that in that area. So, I want to watch that. And I, I just want it to get out of there first at this point. Give me a direction one way or the other. And um, or give me a sign that you want to go short still, and then I'll look to continue to trade short here. But so we're just gonna be patient here for a few minutes and watch. <clears throat> Cool, thanks, Origin. Yeah, good seeing, good seeing you this morning. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> you have us playing in the background. That could be dangerous, man. I mean, you know, some of the stuff that goes on in here. <laughs> I hope it's not distracting to you, but uh, glad you're here this morning, man. I sure do appreciate it. Um, hey, man, I, yeah, keep if you don't care, uh, 
origin i just i like the i like your profile charts that you put on there you know all your candles are profiles i like that i used to do a little bit of that as well and i like the the look at that so if you don't mind uh when you kind of if you don't care to kind of throw that and continue to throw some of your charts and your trades into the uh, discord that'd be cool man if you don't mind doing that i just like to look at that um, because i used to trade that way as well so um if you don't care to gives a different look for some people that might like that and that's cool so you're the you're the man that got us going on discord there so um i do sure appreciate that bud <clears throat> Are y'all looking for a short trade anywhere or anytime soon? Or? Yeah, I mean it's um, it's definitely showing rejection of no no volume right here. So let me see here. Um, I'd like to see some twenty eight twenty five. Yeah, I mean I don't like the. It's not the most beautiful, but I do believe it's trying to go short. I'd like to see some confirmation. I'd like to see some big buyers coming in on order flow. I don't see it yet. We got big set. We got big, I mean, excuse me, big. We got, I want to see some big sellers. We got big buyers at 96 even still. So I'd like to see those guys get overtaken and then um, some big sellers come in. And then at that point, I'd look for shorts, you know. Um, so I want to be patient here. We got big buyers and, uh, coming in at 96.50 still. Um, right at that price there. They're pushing price a little bit, bouncing it, you know, rejecting it. So. Kind of want to wait just a little bit to uh, see if we can push through that and get some uh, some sellers to overtake that. Kind of just watch it. You could even go along at 96 even. Yeah, I mean, that's actually, I mean, from what I'm watching on order flow a little bit, it looks like we're getting some strength in the buying category. So um, I'm going to kind of hold on here. We've got some support at 96 with big buyers, some big buyers at 96 and a quarter. Um, so it definitely could be a potential to go back along here. So I'm going to just kind of be patient and wait a little bit longer here. Got some massive buyers at um, uh, at uh, 93.75 into this zone here, so I might even try to wait to get back into that deeper into this hourly time zone at 93.75 to look at um, a long trade here. So we'll kind of wait and see. If it wants to, if it wants to push down from here without any big sellers coming in, then that tell me it's. <clears throat> Uh, we might have an opportunity to alongside it, you know, so we'll just have to be patient and watch it. I mean, I'm sure people are wondering about the whole order flow thing, and uh, I know I haven't gone over that in detail yet, but um, I'll bring in an order flow chart just to let's show you real quick what I'm looking at. And it's really everybody's got access to it. If you um, if you have uh, Ninja Trader, you have access to it. So um, it's just a volumetric, just a five-minute volumetric chart, and you just kind of learn how to read that. But I'll put that on, on my chart here so you can see that and kind of see what I'm talking about. And you'll see on my chart where I have highlighted big sellers and big buyers and the greens and the reds that stick out there. And you can kind of see what I'm making my uh, uh, descriptions upon. <clears throat> so you can probably see that a little bit now. <clears throat> so I'll just say, if I... Yeah, absolutely. You're very welcome, LJ. I'm glad you liked it. Soto did a great job there. Um, I had no uh, input on that except uh, he sent it to me to kind of, um, kind of give him final say on it. But he did it perfectly. Uh, so I am, uh, I didn't do a thing to that. So that's definitely all Soto there. So he did a very nice job. So good job, Soto. 
Thank you, Brian. You did a great job teaching me. <laughs> Even though you went the long way, and you made me read like a thousand books, but no big deal. Yeah, read these books on. Uh, hey, man. On auction, how to auction, learn auctions and sell cars. Then you'll be ready to trade rice, and after that, then you'll be ready to trade futures. There you go. You got it, man. Longest road ever. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, you did great, man. You did great. You made me spend 10 years in China before I was able to come back to America and trade. Yeah, yeah, and it worked for you, though, didn't it? Yeah. It was now a hard, hard sit, road. But... Yeah, now we have to sit up. <laughs> Mitch over there so he can learn how yeah, to Yeah, he's over there in China to learn. But he's going he's gonna to get the... He's going to do the... <laughs> The quick version. He's going to do the cliff note version. He's coming on yeah. back in a couple of days, I think. But yeah. Yes, this is time. my 11th trip in four years. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. He has to do a two-mile pop line of price <laughs> trading. That's right. That's it. Right. How's the weather over there, buddy? Can you uh, can you even see the sky? Uh, it's actually decently clear tonight. They must be having some kind of uh, government officials from other countries can come in. Yeah. Uh, it's decently clear. It's actually pretty nice. It's like 60s and 70s. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, Big have you been over there? To China? Yeah. Uh, not, not a, I've just passed through. And not, no, I have not gone out. And I've been not... Mm, um, no, I haven't. I'll just say no. <laughs> okay, it feels like you've been there on the cover. You know what? <laughs> yeah, I better keep. I better keep my mouth shut here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, here we got some prize moving here. Yeah. It's going to our zone, but I can't. Uh, are you going to trade out of this zone? I I don't think we can. I want to dig a little deeper. I mean, we got buyers yeah. there at ninety five uh, lining up, but. Um, it's causing the rejection. I'm sitting at 9350 to 94 even somewhere yeah. in there. I, I got 90. Yeah, 9375 is a lot of buyers sitting there waiting. So I think you could de definitely gonna get a rejection out of that as long as volume's low and it's not just blowing through there. I think you're gonna get it. So I'm gonna wait for that area there. At 90, yeah, 93 yeah. and three quarter. Even though it's yeah. bouncing out of our areas nicely, it's kind of showing support there, but. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit too too sideways for us, for me anyway. Yeah, it is. Good, Good bounce, though. But Good yeah, bounce. I got a couple of hidden zones down there. You know, I think you already said a 255 um, candle there. Uh -huh. um, I, mean, I have another one. I don't know where it is. But yeah, a 255 seems to be good. Yeah, nice. 255, you're going to go. So you're going to be lower. You're going to be like 93, what? 93.25, somewhere in there. Yeah, I'm just kind of, kind of like you guys said, I'm going to watch and kind of listen to what BK is saying. Um, well, price is pushing out of here pretty good. It's pushing into our zone that we had drawn already at um, 8.55, so it's pushing into that zone right there. But there's a lot of, a lot of pressure to the long side there, so it might reject out of here briefly, uh, but I'm not going to take the trade out of it. Oh, look at strong. No, no, that yeah, yeah, pushing it strong. A lot of buyers pushing here. So now uh, there could be a potential trade here at ninety nine point five if it gets up there. Okay. Yeah. A lot of side. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of sideways right there. A lot of zone yeah. right there. I just don't have the zone drawn, but there's a lot there. Yeah. It's so, bouncing off perfectly right there out of uh, at the very top of our eight fifty five zone. Yeah. I think it's, it's going to push through right. it, but yeah. yeah, I think it's going to push through it, but it, it did respect it for a second or two. Yeah, but we knew not to trade because of order flow, and then the price is just pushing. So price action alone said it's not a good trade, right? Volume is increasing. Well, hello, <laughs> what was that? That's my new celebration when I win a trade. Be ready. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> That's when you so, want to trade, or when you win a trade. That's when I win a trade. I'm just getting mentally and physically and emotionally prepared. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna put in the all I do is ever, all I do is win, 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 no matter what. I know. So. I don't have the uh, I don't have the rights to that. I don't want to oh, get I it. Imagine you can do that. It's, oh, we can do that. Okay. I imagine you can go in and find the right. I'm sure part of that is public domain at this point, or yeah, or you can one. buy it. You know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was loud, man. I wasn't expecting that. 
Oh, oh, man. No, that's fine. That's <laughs> fine. I like it, man. How about it? All right, well, now we could find support here now to the long side because we got a new zone drawn, right? We got a new zone right here at um, 945. It's right there sitting on the VPOC. There's buyers there. I mean, so it could be a little bounce to the long side here. The volume's low. What, are like 96.50? Uh, well, 97, 96.75. Uh, I mean, yeah, all that right there. Um, I actually want to put in trade here to go long at uh, Order 97 pending. even. I'm going to go in at 97 yeah. even. And see if I can go. get one ticked into this. I'm, I'm already in the trade, by the way. Are you really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I went in at 97, uh, 97 and a quarter. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see, Let's see if it does anything for us here. There's a lot of buyers right here, so maybe. 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 It's 9650 for me. 96 ready for you for the while. All right. All right. You may not get it. And that's all right. But it might push on out of there. Let's go. I mean, Soto's already in trade, so let's just go ahead and pull for Soto, man. Get that get that point, dude. You're in at 9, 97 and a quarter, so he's already in the trade, so we need this. Yeah, 97 and a quarter here. So it keeps yeah. bouncing you. Keep yeah. Needs to go one more tick. Uh. <laughs> now you know. Now you Are know. you serious? You really said that? <laughs> so he's got it. Oh, you it got it? That means I got it, bro. All right. Oh, young money. <laughs> nice job, dude. Nice job. Right, I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Do you have have <laughs> you have that programmed in in your Ninja Trader? Is that the no, sound you no. put in? Oh, you no, just. No, that's not good. You can do that. You know. You know that. He's hitting a button on his phone. Oh, okay. I'm just going to my phone. Yeah, I have to figure that out. Uh, yeah, you can do that. It's do pretty that. easy, man. Yeah. <laughs> he probably, yeah, Origin is, just, that's in his background. He probably heard that and said, what the crap yeah. is going on? <laughs> Origin's like, what the heck is going on over here? He's over there sitting, being concentrating and working on his code, man, and recoding everything, and all of a sudden he gets this loud noise in his background. <laughs> it scared him. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's awesome. He's I wish really the like, auto trader would do that, so it would wake me up. So no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm out of the uh, trade. Know. Came back and took me out of the take profit. All right. All right. Let me well, let me look at some more flow here and make sure that I want to stay in this thing here. Um, it's big sellers at 98. Code, uh, code is laughing. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Some say you probably scared him. He wasn't expecting it, probably. But yeah, you could actually code that into your Ninja Trader, man. To um, every time it automatically do that. Yeah. You know how it does cool. the cha-ching, You know, you can do the same yeah. thing and do it to that whatever you want. Yeah, I saw that. I need to play around with that a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> oh yeah. Awesome. What? <laughs> This thing you need to do here, something here pretty quick. I'm going to remove this order here. Um, Where are you sitting at? I'm still at 97 waiting. Um, so we've got some support below that. Some sellers that got busted. So we've got some sellers trapped at that price, which is a good sign to the long side. But um, all right, let's see here. There you go. You to get in. It bumped me, but it didn't put me in. So we got big buyers coming in at 97 and a quarter. And what that is, is probably those big sellers that were trapped or exiting positions right there. That's a good sign, you know, if you kind of understand how the market works. When you have big sellers or big buyers get stuck in a position, meaning the price goes against them. If they're holding that position, when price comes back into that, they try to exit and get out of that position as quick as possible, which in turn makes the price uh, react to the uh, long to the opposite side again you know so let's say in this scenario we had, filled. um we had but well i'm in this trade now i guess um we have buyers at 97 so we'll see yeah, well, I'm in this trade here. yeah i'm in at this trade here so we'll see if we can give it to us really quickly i need it to go pretty quick um but So naturally, at this point, I'm looking to be a seller, right? You know, um, 
because I want to get I want I'm, I'm in this trade long so I'm looking for a position to get where to get out you know so um, so I, I automatically become a seller at a, at a better price here so we'll kind of watch this and see what it wants to do <coughs> So it sounds like I got some uh, some Discord action going on. Oh, okay, that was. Oh, that was me. I was posting. I, I like it, man. Good job. All right, Price yeah. is wanting to get up there. It's three ticks in our favor, but it's kind of rejected. Come on, go get on up in there. Nice. Uh, there you go. It needs to get. Oh, it's bumping it us. It's bumping us. It's not taking it out yet. Yeah, it's bumping. Uh, well, I'm gonna yeah. hold this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna move in one to tick. It's just Target hold it. Filled. There we go. We're there. So got it. One yeah. tick in the profit. Yep. Yeah, so we're in. Nice. One tick in the profit. Yep. Yeah, so we'll watch that. Oh, <laughs> watch cool, cool. I didn't hear. You don't have like any sound effects? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I don't have the good sound effects like you do right now. <laughs> okay. I might have to do that. I might have to up my game a little bit if you're going to do that. Yeah. I'm going to have to up my game and come up with something good. <laughs> DJ Roomba in the house? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh, uh, that's funny. Yeah, good job, man. I like you posting your trades on there. Good job. Yeah, awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'm unable to watch the YouTube stream, by the way, while I'm over here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> the Chinese do not like YouTube. Really? Yeah. That's yeah, for can't. real, huh? I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you don't have access to... They got their own... Stop. They have their own, like... Facebook. They have their yeah, own source of, Yeah, they don't have like Yeah, Google, Facebook, Snapchat, YouTube, Instagram, the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> they got their own. I didn't know that they did what didn't allow you to watch YouTube over there. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. That's new to me. So I'm out of this position, so it came back and took me out. So Good. Yeah, which is cool. Wow, I didn't know that, man. That's interesting. Let's see. It's kind of cool. It bounced off uh, one of our our zones there, so that was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Got a quick little bounce out of it, and price is now coming on down. So let's look to see. Still got some potential. Still have a lot of buyers over down here at um, um, three quarter, ninety-three and, and uh, three quarters there. So we're gonna watch that area strongly. Yeah. Nice how it, how it um, went ahead and committed and re went to the top of our zone right there at 8:55 and then just has now closed. Come on out of it. So yeah. I've, been, I've been doing this for a long time, but I still like watching zones being respected. Man, it's something that never gets old to me it, uh, to watch zones being respected. That just goes to show you there's actually order to the market. It's not just chaos like everybody. It's a lot of people think. You know, there's actually order to it. You just have to figure out what that order is. So not that they work 100% of the time, but it's amazingly how much they actually do work. Yeah, I was getting so excited when I was making the hidden supply and demand zone. Mm -hmm. When I was talking, I was trying not to get too excited, but I was getting so excited because I love when, you know, later in the day, you have this long candle that, you know, leaves a wick behind, but it reaches out to the prize and goes right to our one of our hidden zones. Yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now we're actually pro playing in this um, zone right here still. It's being re respected. 945 zone still being respected. So I just don't have it drawn up just because it's in the middle of all that. Everything yeah. is already drawn up, but it's still being respected here. So it could it could easily bounce to the long side and go on up from here, you know. So, but I just don't have it I'm marked up. I would have gotten that point if I stayed in at 9650, but after it was triggered three times, I was kind of hesitant. Yeah, uh, I think that's wise, man. Be, be, you know, that's that's wise. You know, price is just hanging out right here, so there's a lot of a lot of it could go either way at any time. So it's one of those things to no reason to do it unless you. Feel good about it. Uh, BK, we had a, a code 
code from the thing your master was there. Oh, did he? Okay. What did he say here? Now, what you just said, BK, is a very profitable concept. These markets are not random. It's exact if you can see it. Yeah, man, I agree 100%. 100%. They're not random. Uh, there is a there is a um, structure to it, and there is a, a flow to it. And um, you're 100% correct, man. These things are not random. Um, so I agree 100% origin. And I know as a coder, it probably drives you a little crazy. Uh, kind of probably with your mindset, you want to just figure out every little tick on there. I imagine, and I imagine you're pretty probably pretty good at doing that, but. Um, uh, I'd imagine having a coder's mindset that at times it could drive you kind of crazy looking for that and figuring that out, you know, because um, I would imagine just from some of the other coders I know, they just, they're very detail oriented and they, they want to kind of dig into it, kind of like an engineer mindset, dig into it and find out exactly why it works, you know, and, and uh, find the patterns and the reasons why that work. And so I'd, I'd imagine you're probably somewhat like that since you're a, a coder and Looking at your chart that you posted in Discord the other day, it kind of tells me you might be have a little bit of that mindset, which I think is very cool. I just don't have the brain power to have that kind of mindset, to be honest. Uh, so, uh, 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 so that's awesome, man. That's very cool. Yeah, I know you love it, man. I'm sure you do. We all we all love it. That's I mean, if you if you like, I mean, you got either love trading or, or you don't, man. And and and. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, we all kind of love it for sure. What's that? No, it's true. I was um, thinking about the way he thinks, you know, co coders, obviously, I, you know, we're not one of them. But that would be really cool to, you know, see how, you know, they see the world very differently. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, kind of that whole matrix mindset, you know, here the numbers yeah. and in lines of code and numbers and I just think I think that's really cool. You just have to have some serious brain power to do that, and I just don't have it. Absolutely. Excuse me, guys. I got to take a call here. All right. <clears throat> got to keep it very, very simple for me. <laughs> uh, it's just how it is, man. And I, I'm okay with that. <clears throat> simple is better for me. <clears throat> I can learn a lot, but I have to really study it. It just doesn't come natural. But <clears throat> I got to keep it simple. <clears throat> oh. I, uh, at Sanford, I took a uh, computer science intro to computer science because it has an elective. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, my brother was a computer science major, right. a mathematics major. And, of course, I did it after he took the class. And, you know, everybody knows him in the department, so they all expected great things out of me. Not <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <I> disappointed. <laughs> they disappointed you. You disappointed yeah. huh? Well, maybe in that side, but I know not in the uh, medical side. I know yeah. You did you excel there. I said, maybe one day I will hop on voice and give a little bit of it. Hey, I'd love that, man. Dude, I'd love that, Code. I would love for you to do that. I'm all about that, man. All about it. <clears throat> I'd love to hear your mindset and your perspective on things, for sure. Right, we got price pushing down into our area here. We got bombs slightly Increasing. Yeah, volume slightly increasing, which we kind of, it's got to push through all that support that it's been yeah. fighting. So um, that's fine. I'd like to let it get a little tired. Um, we'll kind of see here. Uh, it's kind of pushing right now. It's right onto that, uh, buy, all them buyers right now. It's, it's going to, if it bounces right here, it's going to uh, bounce somewhere in this area right here. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of pushing hard, so I can't get into the trade, unfortunately. I'm not going to get in the way of a falling knife, so to speak. So it's pushing through. Well, oh, I am. I jumped into the trade. <laughs> of course you did. I'm, I'm going to blow all the, all the rules right here. I'm a 93 and a half. It's not I'm one of the 93 even. even. Oh, you're a 93 even? Okay. I jumped in a 93 and a half. Uh, 93.5. All right. Well, um, so let's see if it wants to push push on up for you. <laughs> yeah, what? Well, Okay. Oh, did you really get that? I did. I got it. Okay. And I, I just got. I didn't out. see it go all the way up to ninety. I didn't see it go up to ninety-four and a half, man. I'll, I'll take, take a, a picture, picture, bro. Take a picture, bro. Yeah, I'll take a picture. 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 
Mitchell, you're in still? Yeah, I still have it sitting at 93. Oh, okay. You have it sitting there. Oh, okay. At 93 even. Okay. Did this voice, uh, this uh, sound, when it goes off, it doesn't jump around, bro. I know that. We can hear it, man. <laughs> when it goes off, it made a real point. Now, unfortunately, on my second entry, I, uh, I broke even on the rest of them. Yeah. Because I was moving it into one tick to profit because I didn't, it didn't go a full. It must have not gone past the five ticks. And that's when I have it moving into one tick of profit for a minute contract. So you will see here that I got a majority of my contracts at one point and then uh, I think five, uh, eight, all your contracts broke even. Okay. Man, that 9375 was a good spot. Well, yeah, that was a good spot, man. A lot of buyers there, so there's a lot of strength there. Yeah. Uh, just I didn't like the volume. I'll pull my trade. I just didn't like the high of volume coming through. Um, but yeah, it was a good trade. Um, so so Soto's posting his charts on Discord, so uh, so you guys can see those. So if you want to join us on Discord, please do so, and um, we'll pull you on in there, and you can have that, and then uh, you can kind of. Um, you can either click on the link here in the chat and you can kind of see today's what's going on today or you can actually go to discord set up a free free account there it's completely free and then um, check us so, look, look us up for Titan futures and you can jump in there what's that yeah. we're gonna have price come a little deeper here I think uh, it just bounced off um, our our show day that's from 94 and a half to 95 and a quarter so I think we're gonna go a little deeper here into this zone because it's bouncing off the um, it bounced off the eight, uh, 520 zone, the 520 candle. Yeah. So just kind of keep eye on that. I think it's gonna go a little deeper here. I'm gonna put a trade in there. All right. Uh, 90.5. <laughs> at oh, the bottom of our out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Kind of watch to see if it goes down there. It may it may bounce off here our zone. We have a zone that starts at 93 to 92. It's one point wide. Mm -hmm. So where is the zone from 93 to 92? Uh? Let me go look. It's uh 255. 255. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah. If it breaks through this zone, I think it will come down to where I'm at. If it doesn't, that's cool. But just got to keep an eye on it. Yeah, sure. I, I like this. I'm thinking about a trade, but I'm nervous because you see, uh, we got the big rejection wick up there first. Mm -hmm. That always makes me a little nervous. Um, you know, seeing that first instead of you know first coming down, picking us up, then going up, right? Right. So I'm just gonna wait and be patient. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. Do you see any buyers here? Oh, I don't know. Let me, let me see here. Um, pull, pull this up here. Um, no, it's all selling pressure right now. It's all selling pressure. It might even be the right idea to, to reverse and, and look for this flip. down move again. Yeah, flip that zone. Yeah, and. Okay, so we're back into that zone right now. And there's sellers right here, trying to reinforce it looks like to the down move here. Um, we got sellers at ninety-four seventy-five, ninety-five fifty. Um, got big buyers at uh, ninety-five, but that's could be they could be trapped, and that's what I was talking about earlier. If they're trapped, they're going to try to get out of positions here. Now we gotta watch here. Yeah. I'm gonna jump in there at uh, 95, 
five point five. Order pending. Five even is a good trade here. I've got an order there. I don't. I think I might be a little late to it, but I think that's a good spot. Uh, I'm saying ninety-five and a half. But I, I, I that's where I'm at. Ninety-five and a half. That's where I'm at. Ninety-five and a half. So um, we'll see if it wants to push up. There's a little some buyers, but they're sellers as well. All right, so it's touching us. Yeah. It hasn't put me in yet, so let's see if it can. It wants yeah. to push. It wants to push. Order oh, filled. I'm in, so it's wanting to push. Yeah. So I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look to possibly kill this thing here because yeah, it's, it's, it's wanting to push yeah. pretty strong here. So I'm gonna watch yeah. it. I'm in at 96 even. You're in at 96 uh -huh. even. Yeah, nice. Yeah. 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 It looks like it's pushing here. here. I need sellers to kind of come in and take over here and re kind of resupport their position here, but I'm not seeing it just yet. All right, there you go. Come on now, do some, give me some conviction right here to the downside, and we'll kind of stay with you. Give me one reason to stay. <laughs> I don't have a, I don't have a. Go cool ahead with it. Noise, but <laughs> so it does, but consider that a win. Yeah. Or... <laughs> <laughs> baby, good job. You now you got to come up with yours. Now that Soto's done, made it. We're gonna. He's gonna make us raise our game, man. You're gonna have to come up with yours. Now. <laughs> yeah. We don't There's want to always just Soto's always going off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, come on, boys. Oh, it's gotta be the target. Bro. All right, guys, we got target. There we go. <laughs> 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 oh, excuse me. Oh, that's so I awesome, it. dude. I hate it so much. Oh, I love it, man. I think that's great, dude. I think that's I mean, great. I do, but that's why I love it. Is because <laughs> you, just like, that's why you hate it, because you so love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, leave it up to Soto, man. I love it. Uh, well, if awesome. he wasn't so good at it, I would... <laughs> I think he was ridiculous, but I can't really talk smack because he is pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty good at it, isn't he? Yeah. All right, so we got I got we got point ticks locked in here. So another point made tick locked in. Oh man! So hopefully this thing might run a little bit for us. So I'm not gonna manage it. I'm not gonna uh -huh. it up here. I'm gonna try to catch a little bit of a runner here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same. I got a, uh, you know, my second entry is about to get my second uh, exit out here at two points. Do you have um, something for that one? You got different. Yeah, you gotta have a different uh, set no, for that one. I, I don't have. No, I only celebrate the first one. I don't want to, you know, keep celebrating every, you know. Yeah. Uh, I do. Have, I got it. Uh, I think I. I think I look for a second one. So I just got my two points. Your second. Uh, your second position's off. Yep, second position got out of 93 and a half. Nice, okay. So um, I got three open positions, or three contracts in the run right now. Um, and I got one tick lock in in case it comes back and takes us out. Uh, nice, nice, good job. And there, I'll take a little screenshot, show that live. And I'm doing this, I guess, for anybody who's fairly new, they can kind of see how it looks when you got a run going. Uh, since I know you guys really don't get the opportunity to do a lot of those, I would just show off that. Yeah, we don't get a chance to do that. So you're posting it on Discord, are you? All right. Yeah, Discord, yeah. There you go, nice. Let's pull that up here. Yep, yeah, nice. Nice, nice. All right, good job, good job. That's cool. We all three got our points there, right? Uh, Mitchell, you got yours first. Yeah, yeah Mitchell got it in first. He got it first. He got it in a lot better position than we did. He did. Yeah, he was in the ninety-six flat. Yeah. Yeah, he got in a really good position. Yeah, I should have been at ninety-five, seven-five. I mean, luckily, it, luckily, it uncapped that candle or threw some orders at it and was able to get me in, but. You know, it could have easily just bumped me because technically it didn't go past 96, you know? Yeah. Uh, mine just, looks like it went past. Yeah, mine went to 96 and a half. Well, now keep in mind, keep in mind, I'm, uh, I'm JV. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
you twerking off the micro. Oh, that's right. I wasn't going to bring this up, but since you're here. Um, <laughs> yesterday, uh, I took a train, and I was I was going to go higher, and I actually bumped and went into the, like, I jumped in the actual train already in the price there. Uh, real close call, man. But uh, anyways, I rode it all the way down, got several points out of it, ended up winning, so... Even when I make a mistake, somehow I still win. I don't know how that happens, but no big deal. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's come out of somebody. I'm in the trade. Are you you taking anything here, BK? No, I'm going to leave it, man. I'm going to leave it. I'm looking yeah. forward to break the low of this um, bottom down here. Oh, that would be awesome. I'm going to let that thing run. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. Do, I mean, yeah, we're already up three. What, well, well, uh, the 930 30. ball? Yeah, uh, I want that low. I want that bottom to get broke. And then, Big uh, it. did you and I enter in the same spot here at three? I mean, at ninety-five and a half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. So yeah, we're we're both running this. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So we're up pretty good. So I just want to let it. Um, we'll try to let this runner play out. Hopefully, it doesn't come all the way back. But if it does, not a big deal. But I'd like to try to catch this thing because if we can break that 9:30 bottom, it's off to the races. I think for a little while, you know, and uh, uh, we'll watch it if it can break that. If this breaks that, I will lose it. You'll lose it, man. I don't want you to lose uh, it, man. No, no, losing is good, bro. That's like street terms for like awesome. Oh, is that the street slang for it? Yeah, that's a slang. <clears throat> yeah, that's a street slang for that. Oh, okay, cool. We'll lose it then, man. I want you to lose it. Oh man, I will lose it. <laughs> oh, we, oh, we just coming into a lot of support though. That's what I don't like. So yeah. no, <laughs> for no. our runner here, we want this thing to run, but it's gonna have to push through with more. Volume's gonna have to increase and not decrease. You know. Yeah. Like you said, it's respecting that zone. We're in, a, well, in the big picture. We're in a one-hour uh, demand zone, and then in the small picture, in the five-minute candles, we are in a demand zone. So. Like you said, we're going to have to have some juice here to break through it. Yeah. yeah, so we'll just let it and see what it wants to do. Let it do what it do. The, uh, my neighbor <coughs> texted me yesterday. She's like, hey, my car won't start. I texted back. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you just left it right there, too, didn't you? <laughs> Okay. What am I supposed to do? I listen to all this. I don't know my car. <laughs> Come on, man. You're a man. You're supposed to go over there and at least make an effort at it, dude. Oh, no. See, the problem is you know four of us are the It's like, what the hell? She knows more about my car than I do, so at that point, I'm not really doing anything, right? So. Oh, gosh. That's funny. Her husband is out of town, so hopefully he'll come back in town this weekend and help her out. I hope so, yeah, I hope so. But you're not even going to make an effort at it, are you? What am I going to do? <laughs> I don't know. And it's a truck, so I can't even reach like the hood and open it up all the way. <laughs> Well, so you should have at least walked over there and it was not making any noise. You say, I think it's your battery. <laughs> no, she, I think she already ruled all that stuff out. Or she's like, talk about it. She's like, yeah, it's not the alternator. I'm like, what is an alternator? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh man, so just, dude, so does just nothing but a doctor, man. He, he don't know anything about anything else. Yeah, not by training. <laughs> well training. Yeah, yeah, man. Well, you're gonna need to go ahead and study up on some of that stuff before you have kids, man. So you can like, help out your kids when they have issues. <laughs> my daughter texts me one day, "Hey, Dad, my car won't start." Like, yeah, you gotta call Uber now. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's my soda right there. Well, that's why we got uh, Uncle BK and Uncle Mitch. Yeah. Uncle Mitch over here. Probably got Uncle Mitch over there, yeah. He probably knows yeah. more about him than I do. You should never own your own home then. <laughs> Dude, you'll have pipes bust. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Air conditioners go out, disposals quit working, dishwashers do things. I mean, you just... 
You gotta kind of. YouTube's been the greatest invention for that. that. Absolutely. I know a lot about. I feel like a lot about that because all my rental house days, you know, having to freaking do that mess, you know. But but YouTube is awesome for that. Yeah. Now I don't really go deep into electrician stuff because I'm not trying to get shocked. But yeah, it's a good idea. Just about yeah. That's a good idea. So we got to try. Don't have to ask my dad. Next time I'll talk to my dad, ask about him getting struck by lightning. <laughs> struck by lightning? Did he really? I have that one. I have one of one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. You saw Not it struck by lightning. Struck by lightning. It was. We had this pool in our backyard that was wow. built incorrectly, and anytime it rained a lot, water would like flood into it. Uh, so whenever a rain cloud blew up, Dad threw on his rain jacket and he was like outside <laughs> controlling the pool. And he's out there backwashing the pool, and lightning strikes our house. You can see the electricity run down the gutter. And it jumped to the puddle he was standing in. And I swear to y'all, it blew him about five feet up in the air. And he landed flat-footed and tried to walk it off as if nothing happened. And we were like, did you just get struck by lightning? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We're like, no, I think you need to come inside. I can see that, that now. Like, yeah. That, that was the bad. Blood, Dad. Oh man, that, is, that is, I, can I can see that. that. That's, That's the funny, funny thing. thing. I, yeah, you can totally I see, that. That. I can see that. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk. Yeah. Nothing happened. I'm good. Yeah. 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 He was like, "Oh, it just popped me a little bit." <laughs> We're like, "No, no, it didn't." <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> oh, I had two Wait. buddies in high school get struck by lightning, man, and uh, on the. There, at the really? airport, at the, yeah, because I grew up in Colorado, you know, that's where, I, where home's at for me. And, and um, I grew up, uh, we were at the Air Force Academy right across the, uh, from, at the Air Force Academy right across the interstate where I grew up. And um, they were out there playing soccer and their two brothers, their twin brothers, and they got struck by lightning, I mean, in playing soccer. And they were in the hospital for four or five months, man. It was crazy. Uh, yeah. They lost that's all kinds of Yeah, they got it. I mean, they, they were lucky to be alive. That's but, pretty rough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's crazy. crazy. His wasn't. It had already deleted quite a bit before it got to him. Yeah, yeah. That's he just, just kind of shook it off. <laughs> that's what's funny, man. But he's, <laughs> he's always getting <laughs> shot by things. He, he was, was digging a hole in our yard one time to plant a tree and hit the main power line of the house with a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> now that hurt him like that hurt him bad oh I'm sure it did man. it's funny now in hindsight it's, it's funny, funny now in hindsight but yeah, not real yeah bad. in the moment needless to say a lot of our words were said and that tree never got planted <laughs> that tree never got planted <laughs> oh, and I, I mean I guess He's you gotta like, know your mind that's what makes it funny yeah your dad, when your dad and I had you're a the one that dug the hole. You're, you're the, the one that dug the hole six and a half foot deep, deep to plant a little <laughs> fight <fighting> street. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't need to go that deep, Dad. Come on, man. Yeah, it's like he's digging a well out there. Oh, that's funny. So this price right here is bouncing off the, again, the same area we just pointed out, the um, yeah. 255. So it's kind of bouncing between our two areas, right? It's bouncing between the 255 zone um, and our um, 520 candle. Uh -huh. So just kind of hoping it goes south because um, we're both in this trade, right? We're running. We're sitting around two points right now. Yeah. And I've only got so, one ticket profit locked in, so I'm not trying to. Ch I'm not tra chasing it right now. It hasn't, right, yeah, it hasn't yeah. given me a. It hasn't given me the position yet to lock in any more money, so I'm gonna have to wait. So hopefully it goes south. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I'm sitting, I'm sitting with, with you the same way. way. I'm only locking in one ticket profit, and uh, hopefully, you know, it comes back no big deal. We've got several points already today. We're sitting in a good position. Hopefully, because uh, like you said, if it breaks down here and it goes south, dude, we're gonna have a good runner here just because uh, there's a lot of there's, there's this this support becoming a lot of resistance here. Yeah. Oh 
yeah. I hope yeah, everybody so. else is doing well. Uh, anybody uh, else got any, any trades going on right now? I'd like to hear any from the group out there. I know there's a few people watching. and If you guys got anything going on, please let us know. You don't have to just listen to us chat and talk. And, uh, but if you got something... Uh, there it is. <laughs> That's all right. It's kind of a good rejection out of here, though. And uh, good to try to look in right there. Yeah, yeah. I bet. I bet this is. They're coming to fill up, and they're gonna go deep here now. You think that's what they're doing? That's exactly what they're gonna do. Let's see here. Well, there's, there's a lot. Of, yeah, there's a lot of sellers right there at 95 now. Mm. Come back in. Yeah, this is actually setting up to be a uh, kind of a, um, a move back down. Pretty strong move down here. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. That's all right. You know, we, they just one ticked us and we just missed the big run. Then you were there. Then you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, Soto. Yeah, buddy. But if you were smart, you would have locked in a lot more, but it's all right. Oh. Uh. I'm not very smart. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> nah, we're good, man. All good. We're good. We're all good. Made some good trades today. Three good, three for three yeah. today. So that's nice. No reason to do anything crazy. Nope. Mitchell. Mm hmm. your dad. You know, I'm, I love backpacking and all that stuff. And all that. Uh, Mick, I was like, Mick, you, you, like, you like to go camping? Mick was like, no, I don't like going camping. What do you like to go camping for? And I was like, yeah, I don't like going camping. I don't understand why you want to go sit outside. We have a house. And I said, I love going camping. He said, see, that's the difference. You grew up in the city, so it's like a big deal going to the woods. I grew up in the woods. We want to be in the house. So, very good point. But, yeah, your dad doesn't like camping. I can't tell y'all, like, my dad's such a trooper, though, like, when I was growing up, see, I loved to go hunting, that was, like, my thing, my dad cared nothing about it, but he would take me, and then I would, like, leave, and then go try to, you know, go back to where he was sitting to pick him up or something, couldn't find him anywhere, he'd be dead asleep in the truck. <laughs> I'd be like, how long have you been in here? He's like, I'm not gonna lie to you, son, I am. I never left. <laughs> I'm just sitting here all the time. I was like, why do you come? Why don't you go by yourself in case something happens? I've just been sitting in there sleeping. Like, uh, yeah, he would eventually come look for you if you didn't show back up if something happened, I guess. Bro, he's scared of heights. Really scared of heights. When he was in the rental game, we had this beach property. And it was on like the 23rd floor or something. Uh, first time we went in there, I noticed he was like real weird. Like he was staying in the kitchen and he wasn't walking like into the living room, which looked over the balcony. And I was like, "What do you do?" I don't, uh, I don't, I don't like to get over there because I can see out. So I just stay over here and I, uh, I, I feel uncomfortable when I'm over that way. I was like, "Yeah, we're in a building. I don't like to look out, son." All right. <laughs> You, let's okay, take a look at that. Uh, oh, wait, we got a, uh, LJ made a point. 94.75 short. 94.75 short. Nice, LJ. Nice. Very good. Good job, LJ. That's LJ, good. did you take that on this on this candle here, or was that a, a the 10.15 candle prior? Or was that at this 10.30 candle? That's a good trade. That's... Because we came out, we're on this trade, so we couldn't trade again, obviously, in this winning that prize. But I think I would have taken a trade there, somewhere in that zone there. Yeah. For sure. I hate that because this is going to be our big running trade here. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go ahead and push on down. This is a bearish engulfing camera. It's going to go ahead and push on down and, and um, give us that run. And uh, we just got literally t to the tick out. To the tick. Yeah, so... Um, Which I'm going to post that picture, picture just so people can see that we were taken out right at the tick. Yeah, and that's okay. 
You know, it, yeah. it does. it's frustrating yeah. sometimes, but it's all right. But we may be able to take a quick trade here because we've got another hidden zone build. Uh, here at 10.5. Look how excited he is. I would take it at 92.50 if I was going to try to grab it. To the downside? Yeah. 92.50. Uh, if I was going to try to grab it to go short, that's what I would do. Yeah. We'll see here. This is a good. Um, let's take a look at it and see what some order flow tells us. Yeah, that ninety-two seventy-five is big sellers. Sellers at ninety-two and a half. Uh, ninety-two seventy-five. All right, I'm in at ninety-two fifty. Ninety-two seventy-five is big sellers. Um, See, I got a ninety two fifty. Yeah, good, good. Maybe they'll run here, maybe they'll run. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting in it yet. Well, well, maybe it'll run, but maybe. Good. Probably not though, buddy. Keep trying. It'd be nice if it did. Yeah, absolutely. I wanted to run for you. You're in right, so you're at 9250, right? He's in at 9250, so we needed to go at least to 90, 91 and a quarter. Because there's some buyers at 91 and a quarter. So we need price at least go down there and bounce off of those, those buyers at 91 there it and is. a quarter. Yeah, you'll see it. I don't have that noise. There you go. There you go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you need the noise, man. You Good. need the noise, bro. Good job. You got your point. Nice job. So now what do I do with my stop if I want? Like, do I move it down? What do I do? Are you... Yeah. I'm runner right now? You're runner? I'm you're running. Runner? Well, then, yeah. yeah, just move it to one tick and profit, man. That's all you need to do. Just move it to one tick and profit. 91.50. Yeah, you got in. Yeah, you got in at 90... Where'd you get in? 92.50. So get, put it in at 92 and a quarter. Drop it down to 92 and a quarter. Get one tick into profit. Run, run, run. And that way you're locked in. That way you can't lose. You're locked in. Or you, how many contracts? You got one contract trading? Um, two. Two. Yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two two. Two. Yeah, so just lead up. Yeah, man, just leave that one. I think this is our runner here. Um, if it breaks through this bottom here, I think this is going to be our runner. So just hold, hold it. Look at you go, bro. Yeah, let it look at it now. So uh, now, you know, so now do I just keep pulling it down? Do I keep pulling my stop now? Yeah, move it to one point in profit for you. So move it down to what is that, 90 and a quarter? Or is it where are you at here? I'm at 91 even now. Yeah, 91 even. So put yourself, and you got in at 91 and a half? No, I got in at 92.50. 92.50, okay. So 91.50 is one full point. You're at 91 even? Yeah. Now I'm so, moving to 90.50, and I'm at two full points. Okay, so it's going to come back and get you, just so you know that. I mean, it's a little too tight. It's going to come back. But that's okay. You made three points, man. Don't. So, yeah, just keep riding it. Uh, I keep well, locking in. No, 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 I mean, no, no, no. Lock it in, man, because that's you. Yeah. Lock in your points. You got to look at your scenario. Yeah. yeah, yeah because of your scenario, you want to lock those in early. <laughs> you want to look at the fact that you're not good at this. <laughs> no, that's you. not the case, man. <laughs> you keep lock you in a couple points there, bud. That's good. Yeah. That's good. And then let this it. This is my first, uh, my first experiment yeah. with the, uh, with, with the, the run. run. Nice. Good job, good job, dude. Yeah. Good job. It was a good one. one. Soto's going to text me later and congratulate me like a good friend. Dude, you know I'm still doing that. You already that. That's good, man. That's I good. love that you do that. It actually makes me feel good. Mm, that's Thanks. sweet. Oh, man, that's sweet. I know. Look, look at that. We just had a moment. Oh. For everybody to see forever and ever. All right. On uh, YouTube now. Yep. Soto, don't, are you, did you get back in a trade? No, unfortunately, I did not. Yeah. Uh, it never picked me up. It just didn't come back to where I was to pick me up. Did he get in? No, no, no. Uh, right. That does kind of suck, though. 
<laughs> like, yeah, no, we literally right. one tick and we yeah. miss his run every way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Right now. laughs> But that's okay. Like, you know, like you said, you know, uh, some people say, well, why did you put it into one tick profit? And why didn't, you know, keep it at one tick loss? Well, you know, we're not here to lose what, you know, to lock in. So, yeah, yeah. Because it, it could have easily gone the other way. And, you know, yeah, absolutely. We would have given the money back. So we left with so we, we left with money in our pockets. Yeah, very good, very good. We're actually kind of getting down into our zone now, this hourly zone that we've had drawn up for a while. Yep. So we got to uh, look for price to slow down a little bit here. Yeah, uh, so we got, just to let you know, I think you already have this, so 87.75 to um, about 85 flat is our one-hour zone. Yeah. But within that, we have a zone here at 87.5 to uh, about 86.75. Seven five and then eighty seven flat to about eighty six flat. So a potential good trade here could be at eighty seven flat. Gotcha. Okay. Um, because I got big buyers sitting at eighty six fifty from yesterday out of that. So that's where that green line's on my charts sitting at. So that's good to know that you got we got that zone right there in a five minute. I guess so. Yeah. 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 So any of that area right there is probably uh, a pretty good trade. We just gotta watch it be based on the um. Having just a, uh, I'm enjoying, enjoying this, boys. You liking it now? Yeah. Huh? I'm, I'm already I'm moving my stop on down a little bit more. Uh oh. Uh oh. So, so I'm locked in, in like three and a half of them. Nice. Look at you, man. Probably pop me out. It just got me out. Okay. Well, that's, that's good. good. That's three right. and a half. That's awesome, dude. One trade. There we go. Two or three more days, and I'll be able to go varsity again. Hey, that's it. Well, that's, that's all it takes. I kind of like the micro, though, because it's like playing the slot machines. Yeah, that, I mean, that's it. There's a, there's a psychology to the, to the micro, the fact that you got so much. And I mean, it's the I same hate the difference. commissions. Yeah, well, the commission's yeah. not bad, man. What are you talking about? The commission's pretty bad. Oh, they're really bad. Commission's um, nonsense, man. No, no. Are you kidding me? It's charging me like $2. Yeah, it's... No, 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 no. You got... No, no, no. Uh-uh. Y'all need to no, relook at that. I mean, your commission's on a micro perk because it's, it's on the... Uh, it's a lot lower than that. <laughs> it's not $2. Uh, mine may not be so. And it's, it's literally charging me dollars. No, 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 it is. It's, no, it's right. It's 89 cents in and out, I think, total. That's a round turn. That's not $2. No, no, like in... I think in is 89. I think out is 89, I think. All right, no, no. Um, we'll talk about it, BK. I'm in uh, just laying up in this trade here. Are you? Okay. Yeah. Uh, to go short, and it may just be something that my ninja trader's not set up properly. I don't know. I mean, I have no. a lifetime license. If you got a lifetime yeah. license, it's set up properly. Yeah. It is. I checked on it. Um, so unfortunately, it, it's just it's 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 actually pretty high uh, commission. So. Well, I don't trade the micro, but um, I don't remember it being that high when I saw it when I looked into it. I love that. I, I don't. I don't need to do that. No, no, I didn't say that. I just. I, know, I didn't I'm say just that. I'm just picking up. It was just great. <laughs> I didn't mean it. That it was way. like. I didn't mean it that. It way. was like someone talked about Walmart. I, I don't shop at Walmart, but I mean, if I did, <laughs> that's not, <laughs> not how I meant it. I'm targeting a new one. <laughs> All right. All right. Stop here. All right. I, I heard a comedian. I heard a comedian one time in hustle, and he said that it made me like bend over laugh. And he's like, my wife shops at Target. You know, she's new money, and that uh, made me. Uh, <laughs> 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 funny. She's new money. That's really good. She's new money. I'm a Dollar General fan myself. Hey man, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with a little Dollar General now. Yeah, the problem with Dollar General is actually more expensive per uh, usually per ounce per item if you look at it compared to the you know the other stores. So you actually you're right there, sir. You're the same point. I pay for convenience. Yeah. Weirdly yeah. enough, who that's the best sales is Walgreens. Yeah, that's the thing. You are paying for convenience. That's the problem. They did a study on toilet paper because that's something everybody buys. And the 
actually lower income people, uh, families, uh, are paying more per sheet of toilet paper than, let's say, the upper middle class, because the upper middle class are able to afford to go to Costco and buy, you know, three years for Yeah, they cost, uh, Yeah, so, really, really sad. It's just depressing to go to Costco, man. Even though you're getting good deals, you still are, like, a grand when you leave that place. It's like, yeah. what, what, what did I do? I mean, granted, I do have 57 chicken breasts. Yeah. Yeah. What did you get? Uh, what? Uh, Where'd you trade? Did you get another point? No, you didn't hear his buzzer. I didn't hear his music, man. Where was it at? Yeah, you hear that? No, I was still, I hear noise, but it wasn't what I normally would hear. Uh, I think he changed yeah. it up. No, I'm changing change it, it, man. Don't be changing it. I didn't change it. There it is. There it is. Okay. So there I just had it too far away. I had it too far away. That's what it was. Yeah, I, I got in. Um, so I lost. I lost. And then. So we don't have a sound for you losing a trade? Uh, no. Come on, man. You got to put that in there. For <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, I have one. I got. Oh, I got a good one. I got a, this is gonna be classic. For yeah. losing the trade. Losing the trade. All right. I haven't heard this one, but this is gonna be it. Our one. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay, so maybe, yeah, that's like the worst baby crying. Come on, let's see. <laughs> I got, I, there's, a, there's a show that I'm not very proud to say I love, but uh, it's called Parks and Rec. Yeah, a little Parks and Rec. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Parks and Rec. And, uh, you know, the show, uh, uh, Douche and the, uh, what is it, Douche and something? And they have the, the baby crying. It's really funny. Uh, All right, I'm about to get my two point here. You're about, you, you, you went short? Yeah, I don't think that's order. Or yeah, we're in service. Yeah. Man, so? Yeah, get my point. Do what? Yeah, I went short. Where at and why? I got one, another one flat because they were coming in. Our, our one out zones and they bounce off um, right our, uh, our area here. We have a candle that's a hidden zone there at, uh, if you look at uh, 325. Okay. So bounce it off that area. Right now I've got four points or three and a half points running here. Four points. Oh, right, look at that. I'm at, uh, yeah, I'm looking at a trade to go Order long here pending. at uh, 8650. Okay. Back on in our zone. That's our zone we drew. It's bouncing off our zone that we drew up. Um, I'm in at 86. Uh, no, it's 86.75 there. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. I can get this bounce. It's bouncing. It's bumping against me, but it's order not. filled. Right, I'm in yeah. now. I'm in now. So I'd like it to reject though. It doesn't look like it's rejecting very quickly here. <laughs> yeah. So, so should I? I got four and a half points right now. Should I get? Just- Close out, since it's no, that's up out. to you, man. I mean, if you think it's going to bounce, then I would tighten it up. But if you don't, then I'd hold it, man. Because I think it probably, if it does bounce, I think it's going to reject that 89 to 50, kind of this 930 low. Mm-hmm. You know, I think it's going to reject out of that area anyway. Um, so it's up to you, man. I don't know if it's going to reject hard enough uh, or not to give us a good bounce here. So I don't, I wouldn't, if you're already short, man, I'd, I'd just... I might tighten it up a little bit and then um, target filled. I got my first target filled here on this bounce, nice. so I'm one tick in the profit again here. So I'm at 87. So I, I don't think it's going to push hard up. So I'm going to have to be tight here. I'm going to have to tighten mine up pretty quick. I don't think it's going to be a runner, but I think it's going to push back into. Um, uh, yes. Yeah. Can I get a uh, margarita pizza delivered to thirty one ten? I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. My tick. My tick's out. Yeah, okay. Margarita pizza. Uh, yeah. Because I'm gonna keep it open. 
Yeah, yeah, keep it, man. Keep it going short. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's, I think it's going to go push through all this area. Well, I just, I just call yeah. my bounce. I just got the bounce, but, um, yeah. but I hold your position for sure, man. I think. Yeah, I'm going to post this because um, I got, like I said, I lost. I think I told you I entered at uh, originally at. Um, I can't see the price right now, but uh, I think around. Uh, I can tell you now. I entered at 90 point and a quarter. Yeah. And I lost. It took me out by one freaking ten, and then I, I went, went back, back in. And just... <laughs> Easy now, man. <laughs> you uh, put the freaking tick in there, you dude. Chill. <laughs> it's all right, man. You didn't realize that uh, people are listening to <laughs> your <laughs> savagery. <laughs> I'm freaking. That's not a bad word. So I lost. I traded. So I lost. I traded. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so, I mean, I'm riding the freaking. It's all good. All good, man. Good job. <laughs> I heard that. We got you a margarita pizza there. I heard that. Well, it was either that or other things I can't pronounce. <laughs> you are in China. It'll be interesting to see what that margarita pizza tastes like. Oh, yeah. It'll be funky. Coda but... <laughs> said, uh, he's laughing out loud. Granted, I do have 57 chicken breasts. I love this. <laughs> That's from uh, Mitch's <laughs> comment from Costco. Yeah. Why is That's this a problem? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is at Costco. Yeah. My wife's always like, let's go to Costco. And I mean, it's great, but first of all, I got to get a storage unit yeah, and let, everything. Yeah. We take out a small loan first because I know we're going to load up here. <laughs> right. It's like, well, I've got enough toothpaste to last for the next two and a half years, but yeah. it's a good deal. Let's get it. <laughs> It's by a bolt, That's baby. So true. So true. Oh, yeah. Gotta love it, though. She won't let me buy laundry detergent there because she says she can't lift it up. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, it's so hard to pour. It's so heavy. Like, well, yeah, it's two and a half gallons. <laughs> well, we got a good deal on it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you work out, go for it. All right, LJ, nice. LJ made a point at 87 long. Good good entry. Good job. Nice. You're right with me on that one, it looks like, so nice job. That's a quick point. Good job, LJ. Oh, goodness. So we got four for four today. Everything taking a tick. Uh, we're our second position, so we didn't catch any big long runners, but... We got um, every every position's we got a point and a tick out of it, so that's all right. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. That's, that's so funny. Point. That's five points. Anyone uh, want to say? I'm not gonna read. Uh, there's a key and peel. Uh, I'm probably mispronouncing their names, but you you guys are familiar with them. Uh, yes, you're pronouncing it correctly. Oh, okay. Uh, there's one about the French restaurant, and dude, I've been with people like this, so that's why it's so funny. But he goes to this. He's on a date with this girl. And they're at a French restaurant. Oh, I've and, seen that one. That yeah. one is good. Uh, he that like, one's good. Be, uh, I'll take care of this. I kind of know a little bit about French. And he starts, like, talking. Like, he goes, like, oh, you know, he would just, like, one or two words. And then the, the uh, waiter just goes off naming all these different plates in French. And that uh, he doesn't know anything. It's really funny. And then the girl he's dating uh, is, like, fluent in French. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, you got to watch it. You got to watch it. <laughs> All right, so we got a good bounce coming out of this zone here. Soto, you you tied up your position? Or are you? I did not. Out? No, I'm gonna keep it at a take at a take profit. Okay. okay. And where are you sitting at take three. profit at? Uh, ninety point seven five. Ninety seventy five. Okay. Ninety seventy five. Oh yeah, I think that's good. I think that's solid there. Yeah. I think it's gonna reject off of this area anyway at eighty nine twenty five probably because that's such a dramatic, strong. That's been such strong support right there. Yeah. Well, we kind of built another little. Yeah. Seventy-five. It's just the low of the nine thirty candle. That's um, hasn't been tested until now and finally broken. So I think it becomes good resistance somewhere in this area. Is a good resistance because we got a zone. You know that might actually be the area we have a zone right here at um, three twenty-five right there. Yeah. Good trade up. Uh, LJ, good, uh, good point, buddy. 
That's that's, that's at least two today, right, LJ? LJ? Yeah, that's two today, so nice job, LJ. So yeah. I hate to take that trade though, with the way the can the price actions look. Well, now it's looking a little better, but it's still. Yeah. Where would you take that at nine seventy five? I don't, I'm going to look to see. If I take it, it probably won't be to around 90 and a half, somewhere around there. Um, it's bounce. I mean, it looks like it's right there now, so let me look here. But, um, 90 and a half, I like a little better, honestly. Yeah, 90 and a half. We've got some rejection. We've got some sellers sitting at 90, 75, 90, no, 91. So I think 90, half, 90 and a half is probably pretty good. we got some sellers at 90 and a quarter, so... All that area is pretty good right there, so I'll probably go in at ninety and a half to sell short. Order here. pending. And um, you think it'll run again? Well, I think it uh, to the long side or downside. I mean, I don't downside. know. I think it could potentially come back to the downside here. I don't think this is going to be a runner to the upside, but I don't know. Order. No, 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 no. I was talking to the downside. I'm in at ninety and a half. We'll yeah, see what happens. Out. Yeah, we'll I'm see. Out. I'm out. I don't like it. Yeah, it pushed us too hard. Through. Yeah, it pushed through us pretty yeah. quick. So that's a loss for the day. So I'm done because of that. I'm gonna go ahead and keep my three points or my uh, three winners in. But yeah, so it just pushed yeah. higher I'll on that. Um, that's keep okay. my five and be done. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. nice job, nice job. Yeah, that pushed pretty quick. So we take a loss. We take a loss there. So four winners and one loser for the day. I'm done. I'm done. I think the AT today pretty good day for it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think, yeah, it's going to be a good day for it, I think. Um, yeah, it'll be a good day. Just make sure you, it's, you know, manage properly, you know, as far as um, size-wise. But, yeah, because that, with this big candle being at 11 o'clock, yeah, I think it's going to be a, a, a smaller one at 12, so it's going to be less risk on the table. So, yeah, I think it'll be good. I'll run mine yeah. either way. I'll run mine, but... Yeah, yeah, that's cool. The, look at the uh, look at that 1050 candle it came right to um, the bottom of that first zone uh, at the 86.75. So, but if you would have traded there, what we suggest there or I suggest there, um, you know, where I was thinking of going at 87, uh -huh. that would have been good. So, yeah, uh, well, we got it. I got kicked out. Yeah. yeah, I'm out of the train for sure here. Yeah. yeah. You crack me up, so. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. All right, let me go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and create. Oh shoot, I gotta I gotta try to document all this for Alan. <laughs> so, hold on a minute. Let me uh let me do this here real quick. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's move that off of there. Uh, Mitchell, you said you made a five, you net a five? Net a five, yeah. Nice, buddy. Good. That was, good. That was a good run. It was a good day. Uh, how many contracts? Uh, one contract on the first point. Is that you? Whispering? Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm setting up the strategy. So I'm oh. bouncing back and forth between screens, memorizing what I need to write down. <laughs> what, uh, was this, uh, you activating the, uh, arbitrary? Yeah, that's what I was doing. When do you do that? When, when is that going to be active? 12. Okay. EST, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, yeah. I'm gonna go along here. They gave me a nice view in my room. I wish I could show you guys. I'll take a snapshot. Looking over. Yeah. You can Looking take a picture. over the city. Shanghai. Can you take a picture and uh, email it? Pick? I'll try, yeah. Try to email y'all a pic. I'll definitely send y'all some pics of my. Yeah. When we go downtown, downtown. When uh, I'm near the airport. I'm near the airport tonight because I'm taking a train tomorrow. More inland China to work with a new factory. Okay. When I was there, I was taking pictures and. <laughs> Every day it looks like you know it was so foggy because of the uh, the air quality. Oh, yeah. It like yeah, I'm gonna stop taking pictures now. <laughs> the best is uh, I've read where Beijing and Shanghai breathing the air is equivalent to smoking a pack of cigarettes in a day. You're kidding! Yeah. Oh my gosh! No. Why would people still it's live? Filthy. Well, they That's can't quite the They all smoke. Yeah. Oh, yes. Dang. Smoke in this country I've ever been to my life. Like you're checking in at your hotel and the guy in front of you is just cheaping a cigarette. It's just weird. It's just, as Americans, we're not used to that anymore. Like that was the 80s, 70s, and 80s, and we're just not, yeah. we're not used to that anymore. So it like catches you way off guard. You know what I mean? It's like, shouldn't you put that out? Like standing in the customs line in the airport, smoke, people smoking cigarettes. This is strange. Hey, BK? Yeah. I was looking at the one hour chart and the price came right down on the one hour, right to our uh, our uh, demand zone here at the bottom that we had at the one hour. And so, you know, looking at that bounce, I think we may get a little bounce here. If it comes back down, we can get a little bounce back around 89 flat. Uh -huh. At the little hitting zone, I think it's going to go long, I would imagine. Yeah, also I'll draw, I'm, yeah, let me draw this hidden zone up real quick so everybody can see that. Um, what do you think, 1050? Uh, yeah, I think it's got potential for the bounce there for sure, but uh, I'm going to draw it up. Uh, I haven't looked into it detailed yet. I'm kind of trying to update this trade log here. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so I'm sorry. Second. I'd probably trade it. Yeah, yeah, you guys are good at it, so just go with it. Uh, I make the uh, the Excel sheet a little easier, where the uh, the names on the top will actually um, stay locked in. So when you scroll down, you'll be able to see the uh, you know the the titles there. This um, what you're doing on the Excel sheet, BK. All right, cool. Thank you. I, I, I don't know if that helps. Or... I'm sure it will. Yeah, thank you. Did uh, LJ say how long he's been trading? I uh, I can't remember. No. Um, LJ, are you new to trading, or you've been trading for a while? I guess. Uh, I know you've been doing the simulation account, which is great. Uh, but are you are you new, or are you just trying this method uh, for now, or have you used a different method in the past? Uh, if you don't mind sharing, I'd love to hear it. Personal with our viewers. <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh, 
fire. We had a good day today. All three of us had a good day. Yeah. It was a good day. Friday is typically the day to hit it out of the park if you're going to try. Oh. Wow. Appreciate it. That's great, man. LJ. So, yeah, you're with us. Um, both Mitch and I are, uh, are needed also, so it's really exciting. Um, I think the trick is to eat an apple in the morning while you're trading. That helps out. <laughs> so actually, right in front of the right in front of the mic. Yeah, put a, put your mouth as close to the microphone as you can. Yeah, absolutely. This, this. I'm sorry, I care about my health, guys. <laughs> we care about your health. We just I just don't just, want to hear you chewing. I just want to make us. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's cool, LJ. If you have any questions, man, we'll uh, definitely love to help. So you can uh, email uh, BK at Gmail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I don't have a problem. Though. Yeah, you can you can email any of us, especially Mitchell during his time in China. Yeah. He's not gonna be doing anything. No, I'm not busy at all. Busy at all. Mitchell, have you ever seen those shows um, Locked Up Abroad? Mm hmm. Oh my gosh. Have, have you seen the one in China? Yeah, it's terrible. I've been reading a lot about their little camps they have there. Uh, what do they call them? Uh, oh, uh, oh, for the Muslims? Uh, yeah, the camps or the re education camps? Yeah, oh my gosh. Camps, man. Yeah, I think we're gonna go along here. Yeah, it's pushing pretty nice here. I tried to get so to a dog the other day, and BK won't take it. You won't take the dog? Dude, it's he not like. Some, he needs some kind of purebred dog. He was telling me <laughs> he can't have. Then you got a mix of mixed genetics. Well, my favorite dog is from South Africa. I already told you about the English rich bag. Um, but it's just once once you have one of those dogs, it's hard to go. And we had a golden retriever growing up, but once you have one of those, it's hard to go to. Uh, I'm telling you, this dog fits your current where you're at. I mean, it's perfect. Yeah, I'm probably would say it's. It's just a three-year-old pit bull, and yeah. it would be, it's a very sweet dog. Yeah. I rescued it from getting put to sleep. You still it have it? Aggressive. Yeah, I still have that. Don't know what to do with it. I guess I'm going to tie some money to its collar and let it go. Yeah. No, it's, it's actually a really good dog. It's extremely smart. Nice. But... Um, My mom's fostering it right now. Yeah. Mom is. <laughs> I bet she. Yeah, she trusts. She, she tries to save every. Oh, it was her idea. We drove to Scottsboro. Oh yeah. Wow. So you guys are interested in buying the book? Um, it's called How to Features uh, Trade Recap. Um, <laughs> It's hey, I'm doing it. this for Alan. Alan asked for this to be done, so I'm doing it for you. The problem is you no, just can't okay. paste it all at the same time. So yeah. I have to make multiple. I'm going to do books today. There we go. There's a recap of my trades for the day that's on the charts there. That way anybody can look at it and, um, and, and see. Yep. All right, all man. Right. So. I think I'm going to call it here um, for the day. So let's do some recap here. Let's go ahead and update the spreadsheet. Let me find this uh, photo from Soto early on here for his one point for the channel. Let me see that. Where is that at, Soto? 
I think I got one last trade here for the day, guys. You short off of that? 92.75. Yeah, you really did short, right? Yeah, yeah, good short, yeah. yeah, good job. Yeah, I think that was going to be a good short. I just wasn't watching. I just wasn't going to trade it. Um, you, you sent me that this morning, you said? <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. I love that. Uh, oh, no. I, uh, um, sorry, I put it on uh, the Discord, but I didn't email me. Yeah, send that to me on email real quick so I can... Uh, yeah. I don't know if I can pull it from Discord on here or not. So. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, she thought too bad. There's no way we can kind of get it. Yeah, that was good. That was a good trade, there. man. Nice little point. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, I was using yesterday for years at 1025 to have a hidden zone. Yeah. Uh, that kind of overlaps with our one hour and the other. And I just got to get out of it and take a profit for my rest of my trades here. Good job. Good job. I'm doing the email right now. Yeah, all right. Man, today was, today was a smooth, easy day. Yeah, it's pretty cool how that happens sometimes. Everything just lines up perfect, and, and uh, it's nice, smooth trading, man. It's always nice. Uh, let me pull that in here. Page 10.18. All right, email. That's on your way. All right, thanks. One point one is one. Point loss is. I think I'm gonna, guys. I think I'm gonna get to a position in my life where I'm only gonna trade probably just on Fridays. Yeah, not not a bad deal. No, not anytime soon, but when it happens, <laughs> you wouldn't. All right. So let me pull up this. Uh, so we made our one point for the one point a day challenge. Um, I've updated that. I'm gonna go ahead and um show you the the uh, chart from Soto because uh, we like I said we if you're new to us we just take Soto's and Mitchell's first trades out of the day uh, since they're newer traders so we just take those and then we use that um, for the challenge and you can see here now on my chart I think you should be able to see this now um, let's see here well hold on a second uh, hold on let me know when you can see your picture on the yeah. We, we can, can see it right now. We're looking at. Oh, okay. not the picture. Sorry, the chart. We're looking at the uh, the Excel sheet right now. I'm on my own. All right, you should be able okay. to see yeah. your. Yeah. Okay. I see it now. All right, so this is Soto's picture of his um, first point of the day. Uh, he entered uh, to the short side here, right? Yeah, entered at 97 even and exited his first position at 96. So. That's all we look for is this one point on this one point a day challenge. So you see where he ended the trade here at 96, I mean 97, right here. And has now uh, made his point right here at, at taken out at 96. So uh, nice, and then he let his runners run at that point. But that's the one point a day challenge. That's the proof that he's done that. And we have that on file. Uh, so nice job there. So that's how we update the spreadsheet. So um, uh, now 40 days into this deal here, we're up. $947.20 on your $1,000 account. So nice job there. Um, so now we're looking for um, uh, put, getting closer and closer to that 2000 where we can up another contract. So that would be cool to do that. Uh, but nice job on your uh, trade there, Soto. Very good job. Thank you. All right. So that's the update for the um, the point. Now, I don't have uh, – did you put a – I don't think you put a team in here, did you? I did not. I'll, I'll go fine. back and do that. No, you don't have to do uh, that, man. Don't worry about yeah, that. Yeah, I know you're not a big fan of that. Nah, I don't know. But you can tell, I mean, everybody can hear us talk. I know, I know Mitchell, you made yeah. five points today, Mitchell, right? Right, yeah. Yeah, very nice. Soto, you made uh, I lost, a couple I lost thousand twice. points. <laughs> yeah, I made, I made a bunch of points, but I did lose twice. Yeah. Um, but you made good trades I, as far as you, you. how many winners and losers did you have? Because I had uh, four winners and one loser out of five trades of the day. So it was very good. Yep, and, I'm, I'm the same. I had uh, four winners, uh, two losers. Four, lo four winners, two losers. So nice job there. So uh, everybody made good profit today. So that's kind of the... Um, the recap of the challenge so i just want to tell you everybody thanks for being here today i sure do appreciate it everybody paul lj origin uh, thomas uh, appreciate you guys being here um very good job today um thanks for chiming in kind of keeping it fun and that's what we try to do here is try to make this fun so everybody's just not uh, stressing out about trading so uh that's not what we want but um thanks for being here 
so guys i think i'm gonna call it uh, i hope everybody has a great weekend and um enjoy it be safe have fun and then let's meet back again on monday and uh let's do it again all right so uh all right, we'll see you guys monday all right all mitchell right, you y'all. be careful over be there safe, man buddy. be safe and uh, enjoy your time yeah. there but be careful sure. and uh bring me, bring me some chopsticks. Chopsticks. <laughs> all right yeah some chopsticks there you go original original oh, he wants the real deal chopstick i'll get you some ivory ones hey. i don't have to get plastic <laughs> <laughs> All, right. You, buddy. All right, guys. Have a good one. See Talk you. to y'all later. Yeah. Bye bye. You too. You've been listening and watching the Titan Futures One Point a Day Challenge. Live stream. Live stream. Remember, we're live daily, 9 to 11. And BK, Soto, and Mitchell are here to help the Titan Futures One Day Point a Day Challenge, where anyone can learn how to day trade the futures market. Till next time.